everybody, welcome back to Cup and Lifestyle. This week, I've got a couple of well dones actually. Yeah, well blooming done actually. On the 18th of, of December 2023, this year, there was a, a give, big prize giveaway thing that only Finns did. I think Eden Koi Pond, he, oh, Dave, he hosted it. What a fantastic evening. Um, you've got a whole crew of YouTubers there that had put together a fantastic evening of giveaways. So I stuck my head in that evening and what a mint night. Really, really good. Dead clever. The whole crew there that night played their own little role of hosting it and going out looking for prizes and doing the techie bits and yeah, it was really good. I really enjoyed that night and it was giving away loads of prizes. I didn't win anything. I did try. But it was good because it was, it was loads, of, it was about 200 and something people in there at one point. Marvellous. Well done, you lot. So, uh, update. No fish at the window. Pff, I have no idea where they are. They're all sitting on the bottom. And to be honest, this video is a little bit about what I've done after losing Goldie. So, lost Goldie a couple of weeks ago. Ah, gutted. Uh, one of my originals. I'll post a video some. No, I won't post a video because it's a bit sad that. Uh, anyway, it's in me, in me collection of videos if you, if you really want to see it. So, I lost Goldie. And I've been keeping an eye on everybody else. And I just wasn't sure why. So, there was a couple of people actually that comment and, and thank you, thank you, thank you for all your comments that you put on the end of that video. That was really nice, you know, dead good, some of the comments choked me up a little bit, they did, because, uh, but anyway. Um, so no, thank you ever so much for the comments because it's, it's really good. And there was a couple of people on there that commented on, so what are you gonna do with the pond then? Are you gonna sort of dose the pond with something? And to be honest, for me, I never usually dose the pond without some sort of idea of what I'm dosing for. You know, I've always been an advocate of, you know, don't start sticking PP in your pond at the beginning of every summer because, for just in case, because you don't know what you're treating for. Uh, you know, same with your, your malachite greens and your formalin stuff. So yeah, I've never really done that. But there was a few people that comment, well, a couple of people, and it's, and it's happened in the past, where they commented and said, why don't you do something with your, put something in the pond, try that vircon because it might have been a bacterial infection, an internal one that you can't see. Because I kind of look back at when I lost the shower and I go, hmm, don't know, no idea what that was. It literally happened while I was away on holiday and I didn't know what that one was either. So, and then all of a sudden I lose Goldie, which is months later, so it wasn't like the following week, it was months. You know, I lost the shower back in August and it was only a couple of weeks ago in December. Was it December? Yeah, December, when I lost Goldie. So, I bitten the bullet and I went out and I bought some Vircon Aquatic. Now I want to say a big thank you to Andy at Derby Coy because I've taken his advice on this. He's used this before and I also thought some other videos were very helpful from uh, Eden Coy Pond. I thought that was a very helpful video because he'd used it on there and also uh, Righty because he posted that he, uh, he'd never used these before and he did and he had some good results. So, like I say, I've watched all three of those videos and they all were really good. So if you're ever unsure about using, I'm not gonna do a video on using this Vircon because there's loads out there. So, but if you want to search about how to use Vircon, but you have to use the aquatic because this deals with bacterial issues. It's not, it's not dealing with flukes or, or um, parasites. It's to deal with bacterial issues. So I managed to get some off eBay and they arrived today. So it was quite good actually. I, in fact, I might leave the link to whoever sent them because whoever I dealt with was really, really good. I did ask for them from Skeggy, uh, but he didn't have them in at the time and I needed them quick, quicker than that. So he very kindly refunded me and said, look, you know, try here and he suggested. So I'll probably, if I remember, I'll stick him in the link about where I got them from. Anyways, so yeah, so these are Vircon Aquatic tablets that um, are a broad spectrum very uh, disinfectant <laughs> and and people have had a lot of success with these so i've got the bucket out today um dosed up and your dosing is something like it's five uh one tablet per 500 milliliters with warm water and you let the tablets dissolve and then chuck it in your pond and like i said i'm not i'm not going to show you how i do it because there's loads of other videos out there to show you so so thank you to those three video suppliers on those really that was really good so i've put this in now so it's just a case of me watching and keeping an eye on what goes on in there because like I said, I've never done this dose before, and I think it was Andy from Derby Coy commented that he had done a double dose the first time. If you haven't done it or never done it before, or haven't done it for ages, he's put a little bit more in. So I just put another half in, 
I didn't. I did a dose, dose and a half because I never used it before. Every day's a school day, you know. You can't knock it till you've tried it, and, and so on and so forth. So I've I've just done all them <laughs> and, and and dose the pond. So um, I'm just crossing this and this and then X factor and saying let's hope that um, let's hope I'm, I'm wrong. Let's hope there's nothing wrong in the pond. But if there is, let's hope that that Vircon does what it says on the tin. Uh, and if it is a bacterial infection in there, which I can't see, because it's got to be something internal. I think Goldie, I'm sure Goldie was just old, old age, but, you know, now people are commenting, it puts that little little thing in your mind and you go, mm, I can't chuck that thought away because they might have a good point. And I'm sure there's people out there watching this going, told you ages ago about that. Why have you not done it after the first one? Uh, uh, no answer so because <laughs> i didn't but i have now so the vehicle's gone in and we're going to just keep an eye on what happens there so i'll report back as soon as i know anymore right update on me uh, cactoily wireless water monitor made to make our lives easier from cactoily really good it's, it's still in the garage now it's monitoring every now and again i get the exclamation mark but then it goes off because it catches signal and it updates so I'm watching the pond temperatures. I don't know anybody else what my pond temperature is doing this at the moment. It's back up to eight now. It was six a week or so ago when I did the Goldie video. It was six then, it's back up to towards eight now. But what I've found is, is that the, the monitor keeps doing this. It drops down. It's been sliding down because I've used the little suckers on the pad, on pads on the back because I couldn't use the bracket, you know, the L bracket that was like that, that clear bracket, couldn't use that. So I've done this. So I've had to put a little bit of Japanese matting just underneath it so the water can still get in but the only thing is it goes down it kind of ledges just on the side of it so it won't go down any further now because i don't know how long that's been all under water like that maybe a couple of days since i've looked in the filter system so i've had to just put that underneath now so that that should work on now and but yeah it's working really well so if you're thinking about getting one go get one. Oh, and if you remember right uh when i when i first put this in the the wire coating you know the, you've got like the wires that go into the top and then you've got the the outside of the wire so I'm talking about it anyway that that had, I'll show you the picture here like that had <laughs> that had, had cut or broke or whatever I spoke to Cactoli about it they were like no problem at all another one's on its way ping brand new unit on its way arrived so this has got to go on uh, and replace that one because that one um, it, 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 it needed replacing so Cactoli broke replaced it straight away really good service even if anything goes wrong with them email call whatever ping sorted really good company for after service so i'm quite impressed with that anybody that's had one from the channel or from other people's channels there's loads of people on on loads of other youtube channels trying these things out now so you know feed in you know let us know comment below on, on how you're getting on with yours because for me top stuff and it's so much cheaper than you look on the internet and try to get all the other things that this cactoily thing does you know ph uh, temperature salinity uh, SSD or all the other things you put all them together and buy a package of those hundreds of pounds you know this cactoli stuff it's, it's, it's affordable but anyway that, I'll leave that with you but uh, so yeah dead chuff with that and I'll put a link to cactoli in the bottom if you want thank you <laughs> is that better so <laughs> I've done something else to tell you about as well had a little Chris, early Christmas present arrive on my front porch the other day Yes, lovely jubbly. And I did say to the person who sent it, Alan, that I would raise a glass to you. <laughs> I don't use drink whiskey. <laughs> this would be interesting. It sounds real strong. That's just 40% volume. I'll say goodnight now then. So, let's raise a glass. Yeah. So I said to Alan, I'd raise a glass with him. There, come. Here. Yeah. Up, up. From Bear, no, you can't drink the whiskey, Bear. From, from me, from Bear, uh, from the fish, and everybody at Koi Pond Lifestyle. Should it? <coughs> Jesus Christ! Damn, that's bloody rocket fuel. <coughs> <coughs> Thank you. <coughs> <coughs> I tell you what, that will warm me cockles. And anything else that goes cold at night time, jeez, that is something they go.
nice. So wishing you all a Merry Christmas and uh, have a Happy New Year from Koi Pond Lifestyle. I'll see you in 2024. Ta-ta! Come on, let's get some more drink. Merry Christmas.